let's start uh, with a guy way back. I don't know if you remember his name, um, Harry Kschösser. He used Harry? to be Harry Kschösser. Oh, he used to be the first drummer for Racer X. Yes, okay. I know. I know who you're talking about. And uh, is he from here? He's from Austria. He's from Austria, yeah. Yes, I know, because he, he left Racer X. See, I know this kind of shit because I'm heavy metal. Can I say, can I say shit? Shit. Sure. I know this kind of shit. I go way back, deep. We both go way back. And Harry was the first drummer in Racer X. He quit Racer X because this is back in a time, this is before the internet. This is before you could just go onto a, a porn site and look at naked girls having sex. Uh, you couldn't do that back then. You had to go buy magazines or they had these phone lines um they started with 976 in the united states you would dial 976 he knows because i remember he he ran up the band phone bill we had to uh we couldn't pay it hi yes. are you horny oh yeah i'm horny oh what do you like i'm stroking my vagina right oh now. oh my god that sounds so sexy do it some more do you have your cock in your hand sometimes a girl will just go like this oh oh god and, and like dudes would call up and they'd pay like five, six bucks a minute. And, and so you, Harry started that over yeah. here, and he got rich. He lives in a castle. Paul Gilbert. When was the last time you, you saw him? Oh, my God. Paul Gilbert. Did uh, you see him at the Roxy? You know who Paul Gilbert is? Yeah, he's a guitar player. Mr. He Blake. shreds, dude. I saw I'm him on... the one who wants to <laughs> be with you. Deep inside, I hope you feel it too. Feel it too. Made it on a line, a blazing on a line. Just to be, be the next to be with you. Great song. That was Never a big made it song. As a wise man. No, that's I mean, that's Nickelback. Oh, that's Nickelback. but you don't remember a Racer X song. Oh yeah, yeah. Racer, Racer X. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, it's Jeff Martin, lead yeah. singer. Oh yeah. How about this one? Into the night. One other Mark band Hunt. that, from the band's name, wasn't that known and still not to this day. But uh, I mean, it was the band of Rob Halford. You, you had the, you know, the chance to play with a metal god. You were in a band with. We, he got lessons. We we're, toured. We're coming to his. We toured priest. with with Judas <laughs> with Judas Priest. How amazing is that? I got really and close it, with. Oh, he really? yeah. he had a nightly vocal lesson with Rob Halford, and uh, it was on. Rob's tour bus, and I would walk by every night, and I would hear him screaming at the top of his lungs, ah! And really got him to open his throat up. I don't know what he did, but. Check it out. It was like this when I first started vocal lessons. And now, after vocal lessons with Rob and being on tour for months. Look at that. <laughs> That's killer. Yeah. Ah! Sounds great, huh? That was a soft falsetto with a wide grind. It's a, you gotta have to look that up on the internet. Soft falsetto, Soft falsetto with a wide grind. With a wide grind. Well, he is a metal god, of Isn't that Oh, he is a metal god, I yes. pray to him every night. It's immortal sin. Actually, I grew up in uh, Van Nuys and I moved to Texas. I lived there for a while in Chicago, south side. And then I lived over in Studio City. That's where you get your blues influence, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds a bit yeah, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago? You, you like the pizza? You like pizza? I like pizza, I like pussy, I like pills, I like partying, and I like pools. You know, Van Nuys, I used to live in Van Nuys a couple years. You did? And all, all I saw there, you know, I thought the whole place is like full of porn production oh, yeah. and, and rehearsal rooms for rock bands. It's great. There's just porno stars and, and lead singers, basically. Yeah, it's pretty the cool. Whole, and the courthouse. Don't yeah, it's the very nice. It, it's now. not that far from Sunset, but still, you know, people call yeah. you the Valley Guy. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, the yeah, Valley yeah. Guy. I'm a Valley Guy. You What's are that? a Valley Guy, aren't you? <laughs> Where do you live now? Reseda, right? I no, I'm Northridge now. You're you're out there in Northridge, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What are you paying for rent out there? Huh? It's like two fifty for a room. Two hundred fifty bucks. That's killer. That's a a year. Deal. A, oh, a year. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Mulatcha. Do you have any? Do you have babies? I have. Well, you have babies. I have a four that because you know have to of. sperm inside of the girl's vagina to do that. I have four, but one of them doesn't talk to me. Anymore. And I've told these guys in the band many what, times. What else do you do with sperm? You know? Well, I mean, you it's so solid. many things you can do with it. For example, we put yeah. it in Lexi's hair. That's why it looks so good. Lexi's hair looks amazing. Uh, you can put it on uh, toast. Toast. Toast is good. 
You can, avocado and sperm sandwich, very healthy for yep, girls. You can wipe it up on your, you can wipe it on your own underpants if you want and just put your underpants back on. It's like starch. Um, girls like to eat it. I think it's Tracy Guns. He wants to join you. Tracy Guns is calling. Is he playing this festival? Nah. He's not even, well, he, he quit 2012. He did? He quit yeah. again? Yeah. Because yeah. hey, they had the trouble mentioned. with the name. You know, because the others fucked him. With the name Tracy, his, his name is Guns. Well, it's not not easy to go through airport security with the name Guns, because they're like, "Do you have any guns?" And then they sh you show your ID, and it says Guns, and they keep on looking for guns, and they can't find it. So it's very, it takes a long time to tour. Right, you're like, what? It's confusing. Well, uh, let's remember uh, a certain movie which we all love. Yes. <laughs> Rockstar. Jars. Rockstar. E.T. Because, you know, speaking of Rob Halford, it was really the story of Judas Priest dropping this Halford. This is so ironic that we end up together to you? playing in a band yeah. after he has his lineage that's with Rob bizarre. Halford. I'm in the movie that's what? about Rob. It was about Rob Halford? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird? And then you and I end up joining forces. And we both watched Miles Kennedy last night. <laughs> oh, my God. That is... This Isn't that weird? Oh my God. It's such a small world. And I Six boned your mom. Of separation. So Wait, you boned my mom? Yeah. When? <laughs> last night, at, after the show. Two nights ago? Yeah. Well, mom, no, in my hotel room last night. Oh, in your hotel room Two last night? Two nights ago, she just sucked my dick. That's really weird because my mom's been dead for like three years, so. Maybe it's your stepmom. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. So, Rockstar, the movie. Um, but you were on it, right? I was you, you, had, you were on it, right? I was on it. You were on it? I was on it. That's how I got in it. Jennifer Aniston oh, was in it. the scene. She didn't look at you. Oh, God. You know why? She was You're too good looking. I'm fucking... She was with Brad Pitt. You couldn't the do the scene without she's looking, looking at, at me. You. She's like, God, you know, I want to be with a rocker. And shortly oh, after that, Brad grew his hair out. I don't know if you know that. You know, I mean, the guy is not a rocker. He's not a rocker. Like, and neither is uh, Christian Slater. Yeah, right. Johnny Depp, maybe. Johnny Depp, no. He's, no. He wants to be a rocker. He's just a pirate, dude. He bought, to be, he bought himself into rock and roll, right? Pretty so, much. Let me tell you, Johnny Depp is so famous that if he wanted to be in Britney Spears' band, he could do that, too. Sure. Can you say, I was born on a pirate ship? I was born on a pirate ship. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Sounds like you're saying, I was, I was born on a pirate ship. I was born on a pile of shit, doesn't it? It's really funny. That's cool. When Try you that. Do that to your friends. Cool when you uh, play on words. In a isn't it weird? Language. <laughs> it's so right. It's um, so right. One thing to uh, English literature. You, you have a PhD in English literature. You have a PhD. Is that why Steel Panther's lyrics are so sophisticated? Is that why our lyrics are so sophisticated? Not, not so much. No? You know, I don't really apply my abilities to this band. Wait, you, you always do, see you a deeper a, meaning. You, you know? do have a PhD, is that what you're saying? I have more than a PhD. What do you have? What I does have PhD stand for? Pretty hot. Pretty hot? Dick. Pretty hot dick. Yeah. You have a pretty hot dick. That's right. But you do have a doctorate, though. In, in L listen, a doctorate, PhD, bachelor's degree, all that bullshit, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is playing the Steel Panther. Yeah. Right? That's all that matters. That shit, that never got me pussy. How do you write all the words for Steel Panther, though? It just comes to me. Yeah, like, I'll be in the to studio you. and the song comes Are you the lyricist, the main lyricist of the band? Well, let me tell you. Can I explain it to you? Yeah, I want to know. So I'll be in the studio and I'm singing, right? Uh -huh. And all of a sudden I hear these words and lyrics just come in front of me. Just comes into your head? And I just start singing. That's how, and so you write all that shit. It's just amazing. Like, just but how, you know the words. In, that's amazing. In so you, your mind. Do you write the music too? I write. I wrote my mom a note once and I told her about... Do you write the Steel Panther music? The music to the band? Yes, all the songs to Steel Panther. Do you write that the too? So that's subjective. It's some people, <laughs> well, some, some people would say, oh, that's a song. No, it's a, it's a composition. It's a piece about rock. You know, it's a piece of history. No one really knows. Nobody knows who wrote the songs to Steel Panther? Not unless you look on the back of the record. So that's really the bottom line. The it doesn't matter who wrote the songs. Dude, come on, man. It doesn't matter who wrote the songs. You know it matters. What matters? Everything matters in this Everything matters? Band. What matters most to you as the lead singer of Steel Panther? Who wrote all Pizza, the songs? Pizza, pussy. Pizza, pussy. Pirates. Pirates. Pools and partying. Pools and partying. Yeah. What would Nikki Six say now? He would say, I write all the songs. <laughs> That's what he would say. Where's but the did, pussy? Did Nikki Six write all the Molly Crew songs? 
Now that's subjective too. Is it? Yeah, because people say he did, and he'll tell you he did. Mulacha! See uh, all your tattoos. It was uh, from my PhD. So when you got your PhD, how old were you when you got your PhD? 22. You're 22? What college? Yeah. What college did you go to? University of Texas. It says it right in my bio. University of Texas. Where did I graduate? Oh, did you graduate you from high school? PDF? No, I skipped. You skipped high school? I went right to college and got a PhD? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah? In that's English. the fucking shit that's up here, bro. But I need someone to like... You're just go. super smart. Well, that's subjective, too. Yeah, it is subjective. Because I was <laughs> it is very subjective. All the drug use I've done. Yeah. Thank God you're in a band. I don't know what i do without my without you. Yeah, what do I do? You write all the songs. No, that's subjective. It is subjective. That's Thank subjective. you. It's totally subjective. I mean, if you ask like Paul McCartney if he wrote wing songs, he'd say, Let me yes, ask you I wrote them. Let me ask you something. If you huh? asked Paul McCartney if he wrote most of the songs when they were together, when he was together with John, and just split it with them, what do you think he'd say? Paul McCartney? Yeah. From Wings. I don't think John was in Wings, was he? Was John in Wings? He was in Wings? John Karabi? John Karabi? No. Talking about John Karabi? John... John Lennon. John He's talking about John, John Lennon. No, He's talking Jack, about the Beatles. Jack Lemon, not Jack Sean Lemon. Lemon yes. was never in the Beatles. He wasn't? Did Jack Lemon write the Beatles songs though? That's the big question. That's subjective. It's subjective, really isn't subjective. it? Mulat This is a great interview, isn't yeah, it? Hey. It's a great Looks like Mary Lou. a lot about your arm. I didn't know all that shit was on your arm. You didn't know that? No. Let's curious how you at the end, because we're running out of time. What? <laughs> uh, we're running out of time. Oh. It's, you know, the bus with the You mean like in the big waiting. in the big sense, we all are running out of time. That's why life is short. Enjoy your life. Enjoy it while it's hot. Uh, Enjoy it. Mulachog. Mulachog, what's that mean? Uh, it means wild three-day party with <laughs> no limits. Mulachog. That, that sums up the rest of my life. Hey, what's up? It's Michael Starr. You're Michael Starr. You're Michael Starr. What's up? It's Michael Starr. Well, that's subjective. What's up, it's Michael Starr? That's subjective. Hey, it's Satchel. Hey, I'm Michael Starr. Mulacha. Oh, I wrote all the Beatles songs. Sorry, this, our slogan is the only TV you need. Okay. Mulacha? Yeah, Mulacha. Hey, this is Paul McCartney, and that's hey, John hey. Lennon. I'm Jack Lemon. I'm Paul McCartney, that's Jack Lemon. We're in the band Steel Beatles. We and you're watching. Mulacha, three day party that you can't deny, mm. TV you can't live without. Suck it. Bitches. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott. Woo! Mulacha!